Hello and welcome to Time for Bikes and this is my next project. So this is my Ridley cyclocross frame that I've just picked up on eBay for an absolute bargain. Um, I say bargain, it was so cheap I didn't even think the seller was going to let me have it. This bike is going to hopefully solve all of my cyclocross dreams and on a budget. So looking through eBay, I had a few things to consider. I really wanted disc brakes. I wanted the bike to be just large enough for me. Alloy frame, carbon forks, maybe even carbon frame if I can find it. But anyway, I stumbled across this listing with a end time. Uh, it was really odd. And so I thought I'd chuck a bid in and I couldn't believe it. £10.50 is all I paid. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, make sure I've got some, something to suck up any excess oil, but I want to remove the caliper really, from the lever and uh, the hose. So we'll just undo this here. That, that there is so tight. Okay, just for uh, trying to line up the new brake calipers, I've chucked in the wheel from my climb gravel bike. If you've not seen that build yet, click above um, and that'll take you to look at that. It's a three part series on um, a really cool gravel bike I did a couple of years ago during lockdown. Anyway, back to the brakes. So now to fit the bars.
Okay, so I've decided um, these disc brakes I got were quite low quality, so I'm going to swap these ones out for uh, ones on another bike which are um, up to, I believe, uh, Shimano DOX T level. Um, which are a lot lighter um, and have only a little bit of use on and they're the ones I'm going to be fitting to these wheels so I'm going to get those swapped over quickly okay so some hand stickers they're the tubeless valves and you get three spare spokes here are the skewers now they are really good quality obviously I've got this set up as a standard quick release not through axle because that's what the frame is
Okay, so the disc brake installation's actually gone quite well. Um, we did have one tiny little leak uh, from uh, up here on the left shifter, but that was quickly nipped up, uh, no problem. And they are uh, braking absolutely fantastically. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying these out because I don't have hydraulic disc brakes on any of my bikes. Um, oh, I did on my touring bike, but it's a really old style and they were horrible. There was no modulation or anything at all. And I believe these, even though they're an older style, um, by Shimano's standards right now, there's still a massive improvement what I had. So, next up we have the gears. Let's crack on.
So if you like this content, please like the video, tell us what you like down below in the comments and consider subscribing. But most of all, take care and happy cycling.